Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Kristen, and today I'm going to be doing the Truthful YouTuber tag. This is one that I've seen done by Jessica Braun, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun, and I will leave her channel link down below if you want to go check her out. It seems this tag was originally created by somebody named Mel Thompson. I've never watched their channel before, so I don't really know much about them, but I will definitely leave a link to their video down below. I guess I should go and check that out. But currently, the uh, perfect subscriber tag is floating around. I've already done that one, so it'll be linked down below. But this one is the truthful YouTuber tag. So it just talks about like the back end of YouTube and what it is to be a content creator. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it. And if you decide that you want to recreate this video as well, I will leave the tag questions down below. Number one, have you ever received a product, tried it, didn't like it, and then decided not to review it? Um, I'm a small channel, so I have yet to receive any kind of PR or I've never even done a sponsored video. So um, that's a no for me. <laughs> I've never, like I said, never, never gotten PR. Number two, product you use alone but don't show on camera or use online um see i'm not really a makeup channel but anytime that i do do like get ready with me anytime i do get ready with me or anything like that um i definitely show you guys the products and that stuff i'm showing you is like my regular everyday makeup items that i'm using i am very transparent here on my channel i do a lot of vlogs um slightly beauty related things and fashion related and I, I always tell you guys what's going on what I'm using you guys always know so there's nothing that I'm using behind the scenes that I haven't shared with you if it's a product that I like like I want to sing its praises and I want everybody to know about it because normally it's either like making my my life easier or I just think it's that good and I want you guys to know about it too number three a product you want but won't buy because you don't support the brand um Maybe I'm not the perfect person to be doing this video. I don't have an issue with really any brands, to be honest with you. Like, I don't follow the beauty community that closely well enough to know if there's a drama going on with a particular brand. Um, that being said, I'm much more likely to buy drugstore than I am high-end, just because I feel like there is such a push with com consumerism and like for the beauty community there's such a push for consumerism and for you know keeping up with the joneses and you know you want to have the latest and the greatest of everything um and i'm really trying to focus on what i have and being happy with being happy and being satisfied with what i have and buying as i need versus trying to keep up with everybody else and going into debt over makeup that's such a silly thing to go over debt to go into debt for and if I can buy something from the drugstore for way less and get the exact same results, why wouldn't I? So I guess that's the only thing is that I don't I don't buy high end. Um, I'm not saying I shouldn't say that I never buy a high end, but it's not that's not my normal. Number four, do you have any blocked words? For anyone who doesn't know about this, when you're a content creator or if if you have a channel, which if you are a subscriber here on YouTube, you have a channel, <laughs> even if you're not posting anything. You can go in on the back end of your channel and you can, uh, I forget exactly what it's called, but it's more or less like you can decide what can be posted as far as comments go. And so if there's any like trigger words that you want the algorithm to pick up on, um, it'll more or less like flag that comment in a sense that it doesn't get posted to your channel. It gets put in like a holding tab for you to review and decide later if you want to have it posted. Um, so like if there's any cuss words or just anything that you don't think is appropriate to be said in a comment, you can type it in as a blocked word and then if somebody leaves you a comment with that word in it, it goes into a separate tab for you to review later. That being said, I don't have any flagged words, um, at least not as, as of right now, because I feel like, one, I'm still a small channel and so like any kind of engagement I get good or bad is good <laughs> in my opinion and if something I monitor all of my comments sometimes I'm a few days behind on doing that but I try to respond and monitor all of my comments and so if somebody says something that I don't like or agree with or I think is problematic I will just delete it myself but as is my channel is so small that I can monitor everything myself now I can see this being beneficial if you have like a massive channel and you can't possibly go through all of the comments 
but there are still certain things you want to flag then I can see it definitely coming in handy but my channel is so small right now that I have no problem monitoring everything myself so I don't have any um, blocked words because if anything ends up in the like uh, review tab like that's just one more step I have to take to go find the comments to decide whether they can be posted or not and I've had a couple of subscribers that for whatever reason every time they comment they would get sent into like the um, review later tab which I don't know why because I don't have anything in the block comments um, but they wouldn't be saying anything bad negative or rude but every time they just got put there <laughs> so um, I, I still check that occasionally just to make sure nobody's like hanging out in like purgatory but um, yeah I don't have any blocked words as of right now number five do you delete comments if so why and yes I do sometimes depending on the comment if somebody is just being absolutely a hateful person or if they're making comments that is derogatory towards my viewers, um, I will delete the comment. I've got a few videos up here that talk about like how to fill out a money order for Walmart, how to fill out a money order for um, the UPS, and how to fill out um, how to fill out an envelope. And those those videos are like three of my most watched videos here on my channel. Um, and I get people who, for whatever reason, watch them and they're like, oh my god, I can't believe people need videos on this. And they're so snarky and rude about it. And I don't want anybody coming to that, ch coming to those videos and needing help and finding comments that are just hateful and nasty and calling people idiots who don't know how to fill those things out. Because, yes, I learned it in elementary school and you think most people did, but some people don't. You don't know what somebody else's schooling is. You don't know if somebody else is here from another country and doesn't know how to do those things here in our country and so I would never want somebody to be hurt by nasty mean comments um, in the comment section so I'm not saying things don't fall through the cracks but anytime somebody is super nasty mean or negative and I don't so much care about it being towards me but if it's gonna like affect my subscribers I will take it down and if it is towards me I still take it down as well because I used to leave them up and then I had a couple of you guys who are super awesome um, go in and try to defend me which was so sweet but I don't want anybody like getting upset and getting into a fight online over defending me you know like I was very appreciative and I thought it was very nice but um, yeah, fighting online is such a trivial thing it's not worth it and at this point negative comments don't really affect me anymore and so I don't think it needs to be affecting my subscribers either so I would rather just take it off <laughs> delete it it's not worth it's not worth messing with. And then leading into number six, do you block people? Yes, I have definitely blocked people. Um, there are some folks on here who like to fat shame or hate watch fat people. And I fall into that category and I have had them pop up on my Instagram where like they try to follow me, like slip in there to follow me. And then you'll find where they will be like reposting your pictures and your videos and just giving you all kinds of hate. And I just I don't support that I mean technically that is um, engagement for my content however that's not the kind of engagement that I care to have and so I will block those kind of people in a heartbeat and then on top of that if I have people who are super nasty commenters and they are just like continuously being nasty I will eventually block them if they're you know two to three times being super nasty on my channel I don't have the time for that it's not worth it to me and I don't want my subscribers to have to deal with that so I will block that person. Number seven, have you ever lied about a product to stay on good terms with a brand? No, I have not. <laughs> Most recently, I had a comment come through on an empties video from the brand Pure, and I really do enjoy that brand. Um, but it definitely made me think twice about the next time I reviewed a product. Um, I had them in my most recent empties, which I don't know if it'll be posted by the time this video comes out or not because um, I'm doing a collab. So if it's out, I'll link it. If not, you can just keep an eye on it because it'll be an empties collab. But I had a sheet mask from them and I definitely chose my words more carefully. I still enjoyed the product, but I I don't want to paint it in a bad light, if that makes any sense. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I was just more careful with my words. And I think that's more just because I got excited because a brand commented on my channel, which is silly. I guess I shouldn't be getting too excited about that stuff because it's not like they asked to work with me. <laughs> I didn't want to come across like I didn't like the product, which I did like the product. I just, I'm not much for sheet masks. And so I was choosing my words carefully to say like, I like 
the serum. I don't like the mask. Does that make any sense? Like I was still de definitely giving an honest review. I was just choosing my words more carefully, I guess. Does that make any sense? I hope so. <laughs> Number eight, have you ever liked a product initially when you reviewed it and then changed your mind but didn't let your audience know? I don't think so. I, correct me if I'm wrong because I've been here for almost five years, but I'm pretty sure everything that I've ever told you that I either liked or disliked, the statement has stuck. But again, I'm not like a regular beauty channel. I'm not like, I'm a lifestyle channel. You're going to get like a whole hodgepodge of stuff on here. And so I'm not always doing makeup or product reviews. You know what I'm saying? So typically the things that I use are things that I use like all the time. And once I use something up, I will stick it in my empties basket and I will give you my honest review on that because I've completely used it up. So yeah. <laughs> Number nine, influencers you don't trust. I can't say that there's any influencers that I watch that I don't trust. If I don't get good vibes from you, then I don't subscribe to you. I'm probably not enjoying your content. So there's nobody off the top of my mind that I, I wouldn't trust influencers you trust the most this is question number 10 and people i trust the absolute most would be smaller subscribe would be smaller youtubers like other smaller channels because when you're a small channel like you're not working with a brand you have no incentive to like give a glowing review you know like so smaller channels like my friend melissa caitlin or tara ann or bailey marie like they're all small channels mine included i'm only 3,000 subscribers almost 3,000, <laughs> and we have no real incentive to lie or to say that we like something when we don't or to say that we don't like something when we do. Like there's, we have no point. Okay, like we're not getting money from it. Like nobody's working with us. So might as well be honest, you know? Number 11, secret tips or product applications you don't show while on camera. Again, I'm not really a beauty channel. Um, though recently, I guess, I've really taken to using powder. Like I really, like a more natural face something I do I can do quickly um, I can leave a link down below because I recently did a mommy makeup video and I'm pretty sure this is the application technique that I used in that video um, but I've really just taken a lot of times to just doing concealer under my under eyes and then I just powder my face with a translucent or a lightly tinted powder and I call it a day I'm not really doing the full glam anymore I just want to make sure I don't have like bags under my eyes Number 12, have you ever showed one product but we're actually using another? No, I've always been very honest with you guys. Even products I don't care for but I'm trying to use up, like I'll let you know, like I'm using this right now because I have it, but I wouldn't recommend you buy it. So I'm always very honest with you and I tell you like, you know, I'm using it because I have it, not because I like it. Number 13, have you ever not disclosed a sponsorship? And again, I have never done a sponsored video. I've never worked with a brand. Um, yeah, so no. <laughs> 14. Have you ever had a bad interaction with interaction with a brand? No. Again, like I have had very little to no interaction. Um, I've had pure comment on one video where I reviewed one of their products in an empties video. Um, again, not sponsored <laughs> by them at all. And then I had JCPenney one time contacted me about a video I posted on Instagram that showed at the time, he's not my toddler, but at the time he was my baby. And he was playing with this giant Easter bunny we got from JCPenney's and I tagged JCPenney's in it and they um, reached out to me asking if they could use that video, um, which I don't remember if I ever responded. <laughs> but that's like the only times I can really think of that a brand has reached out to me. I have had like people who run Amazon shops and stuff like try to contact me. And I've had like brands from like China try to contact me and I never really typically respond to those because I'm like I don't know if this is a scam or if this is legit like it could be a real like indie brand maybe I'm missing out but I feel like half the time it's just a scam because a few times I have reached out like it's been a bunch of junk that I'm like this isn't even this is nothing you know like this is just a generic mass email sent out to everybody and it's not worth my time. <laughs> Number 15, have you ever bandwagoned with other people's thoughts on a particular product? No, I don't think so. Um, I like to think that I'm a free thinker for the most part and I can make my own decisions and my own opinions. Um, like if it's something I legitimately don't like and it happens to be like five other people also legitimately don't like it or at least they're saying they don't like it, 
then so be it or maybe they're saying they love it but the most recently thing i can think about is that the tarte shape tape concealer that everybody was raving about i got a sample of it i tried it i liked it okay but i can't say that it's all that and it just makes you question like if all these other bigger youtubers who are raving about it if they're not just trying to stay on tarte's good side or if they're not getting sponsored or a little you know kickback um behind the scenes because i like i mean i'm using it today again because i have it <laughs> And I liked it okay, but I, I'm not going to go out and repurchase it. Like, it, it's okay, you know? Like, that's my thoughts and opinions on it. It's it's concealer. It did its job. It's okay. I can get cheaper at the drugstore. That does just as good. Number 16. Things other creators do that get on your nerves. Um. Again, like, I subscribe to people that I really enjoy watching. And so I'm not really watching anybody who's annoying me, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't know. Um, I guess there are some people who like, their channels get so big and I still enjoy them. And I just recognize that they're in a different financial bracket than me. Um, and it shows. And I don't mean that in the way of like, they're out splurging their money and they're like, oh, look at these like expensive bags and stuff. Like sometimes they do that. But it's like the complete lack of... It's like they forget the value of a dollar. Does that make sense? And I, I mentioned this in the perfect subscriber tag. Uh, like Gabby Hanna and Jacqueline Hill recently did videos where, well not recently, it's been a few months. Um, but they made comments about how like their accountants handle their finances and they don't even know how much they're making. And it's like, if you're not even aware of how much you're making, like you're not even, we're on completely different levels here. Like, <laughs> I can't even fathom not knowing what's coming in financially every month and not handling my finances and to think that some of these people have gotten so big that that's like not even on their radar anymore is just like mind-blowing to me and so I don't know that I necessarily call it annoying but it it gives off an air of irresponsibility because I feel like even if you're making that much money like you should still be involved in your finances and I feel like that puts off a bad People this, I'm trying to figure out how to word this. <laughs> Mom brain, I'm eight months pregnant. My brain doesn't work anymore. People who have that big of channels are definitely what you would consider to be role models for other people and people, there's somebody that people look up to. And to say something that flippant and to say something that irresponsible as, oh, my accountant handles it. I don't even know how much money I'm making. Like that just sends off vibes to younger generations or younger people or people who are still like figuring out their life and their finance and finances and all that stuff like it to me is telling them like oh it's okay not to pay not to pay attention to your finances and go ahead and rack up that credit card and buy all the makeup that you want because you know you got to have the newest and the latest and the greatest because what you bought last month is out of style and no longer useful and i just feel like it's sending a bad message so where I still enjoy those people and I still watch them, I would have to say like if I was that person's parent, I might reconsider letting my child, if I'm saying that rightly, I think I, wrote, I, think I worded that wrong, I might reconsider letting my child watch somebody who's going to say something that, say something like that. Does that make any sense at all? Like, pay attention to your finances, folks. <laughs> Don't be so... Yeah, just pay attention to your finances. Um, I don't know. There's like, like for instance, Jeffrey Star. He's an awesome businessman or business person, and he's doing awesome things. And he is like on it with his business. He knows what's going on. And if you're gonna implement, like, if you're going to try to, you know, idolize anybody in the beauty community, I would say go with him because. He's done it right, and he knows what's going on with his business. And for somebody to flat, blatantly say that they don't have a clue what's going on or how much they're making is just like, it almost comes across like they're taking the whole thing for granted, for one, and for two, it's just extremely irresponsible, in my opinion. So stuff like that, where I'm just like, I don't agree with, I don't agree with how you're living your life. Um, <laughs> can you tell I've turned into a mom? I'm a grown-up now. Anyways, that's it for all the questions. I hope you guys did enjoy. I will leave a list of all the questions down below if you feel like doing this tag yourself. So definitely come back and let us know in the comments if you've also done this tag so other people can go and watch it. If I've mentioned any creators in this video, I will have them linked down below. And I th along with any videos I've mentioned. Videos and creators, all of that will be down below in the description. They're like down below in the description box. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope to catch you in my next one.